Hey guys, well and welcome back to the channel. Uh, in the previous vlog, you saw that my father was admitted to the hospital and he underwent surgery. Uh, he's back home resting and I'm at uh, Bhopal airport. Off to another adventure, this time solo because my father is resting at home. So first stop is Delhi and then we'll change flights after a short layover to head over to the final destination. Stay tuned and enjoy the vlog. check-in headed over to the security clearance and behind me that statue is the statue of Raja Bhoj one of the most prominent rulers of the Malwa region in central India um, so it was a very smooth check-in it's early morning almost 6 a.m. not much many people here let's I'll see you after security security pretty nice and smooth uh, the airport has changed quite a bit from last last I remember they put up a lot of these murals depicting the history of Bhopal which is pretty cool well I head over to my gate and wait for boarding I think the boarding starts in an hour so I have some time to queue most of the snack shops are closed at the moment oh there's another section for seating that's really cool my boarding gate is upstairs but I don't remember seeing this section maybe it was under construction last time I was here out uh, unfortunately despite being the center of India the air connectivity here is not so great uh, railway connectivity is amazing you get almost uh, trains to almost everywhere and okay let's see the boarding gate is gate number two it's the AI 436 that one headed to Delhi gate number two cool so I think my gate is upstairs let's go see what changed upstairs because of uh, uh, coming in earlier at the airport and then the distance to cover to get to the airport it kind of became like a red eye flight I had to wake up at 4 a.m. and it's all good uh, you could see a little bit of the exterior from here Let's as you can see it's getting brighter now it looks pretty posh I mean it would have been a really cool international airport but it sadly didn't work out flight was delayed slightly but they covered 20 minutes uh, on the flight so it's 9 15 a.m next flight is in about three or four hours so it's gonna walk around if you have been traveling to the delhi airport this carpet should tell you you're at igi t3 that's another air india flight the national carrier that's now under new management it's pretty interesting they gave us a small sandwich for breakfast and it was a nice and comfortable flight 
let's wait for the next leg of the journey is where I took the thumbnail for the first vlog when I first came from Finland to Delhi where the guard picked up and I was taking too many pictures let's see if I can get something to eat for breakfast in and out of the airport I just brought my bike now to go through security again so i'll see you again after the second round of security for the final leg of the journey security clearance now just walking around uh, there is a lot of time before getting to the gate and the gate walk is about 14 minutes I'm gonna get into one of these stores and try and see if i can grab something from my father he had something on his mind we didn't get a good deal for it while we were looking for it and we were exploring gurgaon so let's see if i can get something from the airport in this restaurant delhi street was the one we used to hang out quite a lot back in the days when i used to live in delhi and we traveled quite a bit from here Let's eat here before boarding the plane. Chroma is an electronics store, so maybe I can find something here. Let's go inside. That was a really cool visit to the Chroma store. Got my dad these Live Pro 2 JBL by Armin Kardin. They have six mics, 40 hours of battery backup. Really amazing. I was initially going for Sennheiser, but I was told that in India Sennheiser is winding up and JBL is still more prominent. And this is top of the line, so I got him this. Hopefully, he likes it. We'll see by the end of the trip when I meet him. I'll give it to him. For the moment, I'm keeping it. Uh, might as well enjoy it for a bit before handing it over. So this is the airline company I'm flying with for the last leg of the journey, Vistara. Indigo is the one that I'll be flying back with from Delhi to my hometown in Bhopal. And Air India where it's not on this side, but that's the one I used to get to Delhi first. Pretty cool flying with different airline companies. This time is going to be my first time. I've never flown with them while I was in India. It's a relatively young company. spouts now are totally contactless you just wave your hand in front of the sensor and the water starts coming in from it's all like this then during the covid times they made it non contact which is pretty cool i used to get tired keeping the broken breast all the time while drinking I've been walking since forever to get to my gate it takes 14 minutes to get to the gate here This airport is really huge. You can really, literally do your cardio and <laughs> daily cardio needs here easily. Just keep walking, and you can even skip the travel letters.
So if this statue hasn't revealed the destination, I'm in Chennai. This is the Chennai International Airport and I'm going to spend about a week here. So a couple of years ago, I visited Chennai with my father while we were touring parts of South India. So I've already been here, but this time it's more for a couple of meetings and a little bit of tourism. So let's see what all I'm able to explore in the week that I'm here. For the moment, let's go outside, grab a taxi and head on over to our accommodation. Look at the size of this terminal building, it's so huge and I think it just finished raining that's why it's super humid right now and the roads are a little bit wet. Alright, so after a short and sweet half an hour ride, I'm finally in my guest room. So this is going to be my room for the coming nights, roughly about a week or so long stay here. So I have two beds, I just need one but it's okay, it's a twin bedroom. There's a cabinet and stuff. This is going to be my work slash editing desk, that's the main door. So nice and comfy AC room and this is the washroom. So it's been a long day, I've been up since 4 a.m. It's almost 6 p.m. now, so gonna freshen up and rest a little bit. And I'm gonna end this vlog here. I'll tell you more about where I'm staying, what I'm doing in the coming vlogs. So be sure to like, share and subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you're notified when the next vlog goes live and follow along the playlist of the series of the India Travel series so you can figure out you know what's going on in my life, what's happening. So it's a, in a chronological order, they have been arranged for your convenience. Alright then, this is the Rustic Wanderer signing off and I'll see you next time. Take care.